Hey everyone, uh, sorry I'm late to start the stream here. Um, had to update my OBS, so and I'm displaying the OBS itself. So that's a fun um, infinite loop. Let's go. Let's go over to Salesforce. Okay, so this week um, I'm pulling my checklist. Um, we're going to be talking about um, a pretty interesting thing that we've developed to pass a Salesforce file over to Slack. Um, and what, why would you do this? Okay, so you can think about um, in Salesforce, maybe you have a quote or a uh, proposal or some contract or, or, or a, uh, in this example, we'll do a statement of work that you need to both add to Salesforce, but also send over to your team in Slack to have a discussion around. And so um, I'm going to show a quick demo of how this how this will work, and then we'll go work on the flow itself. Um, I'm a little limited on time today, so I'm actually going to, instead of doing it from scratch, I'm going to show you the flow element that we used um, to, to accomplish this. Um, OK, so uh, let's, let's, let's go ahead and show it working first. Um, let me create a new project from scratch so you can see what this looks like. So we'll call this um, Document Force. It's my made up company. Um, let's see. I just want to make sure my audio and stream is working. Yeah, okay. Okay, Document Force Phase 2, we'll call it. And this is some project in Salesforce. Um, this is a custom object I created. Um, so again, the use case here will be <clears throat> we create a project where someone's created a SOW. We want to attach that to Salesforce so it's a record, but then we want to have the team discuss it in Slack and then save all that info back to Salesforce um, using our components. So um, the benefit here is that you get the ability to have that file synced, um, ready to view and uh, consumable within the Slack side. And then all of the meat and of the conversation is in Slack, so we want to capture that as well, so so we all know what's what's been happening with this SOW. So you can imagine similar things with um, contracts or quotes or proposals, that sort of thing. Um, okay, so now we'll um, just fill out this uh, this record here. Um, doesn't really matter what these um, dates are. I'm just filling it out. Okay. So you got a new project, and um, I've got a I got a new button here called Post File to Slack. What this is going to do is create um, a little window here that says Upload the SOW to Salesforce and Slack. We're going to pick a file, and then we're going to send. We're going to enter the default message to send. And this is going to send to a channel that is the generic project channel. Um, so this is pretty common where like a whole bunch of projects are being discussed and then they thread on the individual file. So let's go ahead and upload our file. This is using the Salesforce um, file upload element, which I'll show you in a second. And um, there it is, there's our upload. And then we wanna maybe post a message. So we'll say, hey, please look at this. SOW for document force and discuss. Okay, then I'll hit next. So Central will pick this up using our new file upload um, element and post a Slack message. So we have an unread here in our projects channel. Um, and there's our statement of work waiting for us. So this is a this has been actually uploaded to Slack. So it's a a file on the Slack side. You should, you know, as you know, Slack's file um, limits are much higher than Salesforce. So maybe you do want to discuss this here and not upload it to Salesforce. We, we can handle that later. Okay, so please look at this SAO. And then we're going to have a little discussion about it. We'll say, looks good, but what about X? Did you think of Y? go you know some some discussion around this right um, we, we also did an update um, to link um, 
this particular thread to a record in Salesforce. So we've heard this, we've heard this a few times now. We recently implemented it where, as you know, Central out of uh, previously was doing um, channel and record linkage. And that's good because you can have a very focused discussion in a channel and link that to Salesforce. But you might have a thread within a general channel like this projects channel. It's many different projects are being discussed, but you want to encapsulate the details of the thread to, to Salesforce as well. Companies work differently with Slack and there's no one right solution. So really excited to have this, this feature enabled. So what we do is we come to the more actions. We find the, the header of the thread. This is the thread. Um, this is the starting conversation for this thread. We come into more actions, say link to Salesforce. And it pops this dialogue that says, okay, which Salesforce record? Um, we do a recent um, or search. So recent records are ones that your user has uh, recently um, touched in Salesforce. So we should see, here's an opportunity. Here's this project phase two we just did. Or you can start typing document for us. This works against all standard and custom objects. Um, and it does a match um, based on those search parameters. This would be like doing a search for the same thing in Salesforce. And now we can come in and find our project. Here it is, phase two. And then this this dialog says, <clears throat> okay, which which thread? Or what, what do you want to name this? Because if you recall, we'll show you in a second, um, uh, the central Lightning Web component um, will show the channel name, um, but there's no name for a thread, right? Slack doesn't name threads. So we want to give it a name so we can have others find it. So we'll say discussing style for document force. We'll hit link and um, on the Salesforce side, we will see um, if we reload that <clears throat> we have our linked conversation. Here it is discussing and we can see the conversation thread and then we can tap in more messages thanks which will of course pop in the thread um so we'll pop up over to slack we got our new reply there and this is keeping track of all that threaded discussion it's linking the thread to the um to the salesforce record and we have this new icon um this is actually showing better um, when you have the um, Lightning Web component stretched out. So you can see we have a thread symbol for threads, um, the hashtag for public channels, the, the padlock for private channels in Slack, and then archive channels, of course. Okay, so how did we do this? Let's go take a look. Um, this flow is a screen flow. Um, let's see, send file to Slack. <clears throat> now, how I did this was, um, this is just a screen flow um, uh, type of flow. And the first thing we do is you got to create this um, variable called record ID. I discovered that you just need it as available for input from, a, from um, an, a, a, an action on the record. I'll show you that in a second. So I, what happens here is really funny. If you have this variable named this way, record capital ID as a input for um, available for input to the flow as a text type, then whenever you drop, whenever you use this flow as a new action on any record, it will pass in the record ID. So then you can reference it throughout the flow. I had to look that one up. It wasn't obvious to me. Um, okay. So now we see I've got this first element, which is a, that this is provided by Salesforce. Um, you can see it here. Uh, whoops. If you're at it, it's called a screen interaction, collects stuff from the user on the screen. And all I have is two things. I have a file upload, um, which I set <clears throat> some of the, the required fields here. So. It's asking for an API name so you can reference it. What do you want to label it? You can set the accepted formats. I, 
I did .pdf and .docx. So when you saw when I was doing the demo, it put the filter to those two file formats. And then um, allow multiple files. Um, I'm assuming you could do this for multiple files. There's, um, there's nothing that's stopping us from doing it either. I just wanted a simple, um, a simple demo flow. So we did one document. Um, then it asks for um, content document IDs and version content version IDs um, as a text collection variable. So you gotta go create a text collection variable um, and then set it here. Um, I left disabled and hover text blank. Here's that record ID. So if you set this, um, it's going to save the Salesforce, the uploaded file to the Salesforce file for that particular record. That's the that's how it works. <laughs> uh, there's no out of box sort of explaining how it works, but that's how it, I, I did search around last night on how to do that. Um, and then you put a collection variable for file names. So that means you know if you uploaded many file names and many documents, you would store them in this collection variable. Um, regardless, you still have to use a collection variable even if you set this um, allow multiple files to false. So there you go. Then the next piece is just a little nicety uh, I put in there, which is um, having a new variable to pass in called var message, which we will send over to um, the Slack side as part of a here's your file and you know telling the team what's up with that. Um, the reason I did that is because in the future we will have um, our file upload element to Slack. Um, not right, right now it's very basic. You just give it a document ver content document version ID one content document version ID and which channel it's going to. Um, we're thinking about updating our other element, uh, which is the um, send Slack message element. Let me show you. We're thinking about including a, another section for files, post a file um, included and buried in that message. So that's coming. Um, so now you have to send two messages. That's how, that's how it works today. But we'll, we'll soon have that available to have in one single shot. Okay. So, you know, we set the, this, this, this one is simply setting our variable message um, from the um, message sent to channel screen, screen component. Let me show you this. This confused me a little bit. If you find under the screen component um, section, this is what is the um, thing that gets filled out that will send over um, and set that message. So. That gets set in that element or in that component, and then you got to set it to a variable so we can pass it into our um, element to send to Slack. Okay. Now, um, this one is also grabbing the content version IDs from that string component and setting it to our doc version IDs. Now, we use that in this loop. The only reason I have the loop is because, remember, I have a, a collection and not a single content document ID. Unfortunately, I have to loop through a single row of a, of a collection variable to grab that single ID. Oh, well, <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, so we're, we're looping on doc version IDs. And then we will be setting our single doc version ID off the current item. And then we will send this to our up file upload. Okay, you can imagine I can I can do this multiple times um, using our element. We can send multiple files over um, in the loop, but we're not in this case. It's just a single message. So here we go. Um, in this case, it says uh, this is our our send a, send file to Slack um, element. Um, like I said, this is our first version of this. Very basic, I'm hard coding the channel ID. Um, how did I do that? I could use a variable. Um, there's nothing special here. Um, I could use a variable from the flow. And what's really nice is to use that picker um, that we have developed in the other elements. So again, the kind of first version of this, we're, we're very much a iterate type of shop here. 
Um, okay, so we have the channel ID. Oh, how did I get that? Um, in Slack, here's a little trick. If you go not to the not to the app, but rather to the um, web client <clears throat> and pick a channel, <clears throat> you'll see in the URL um, this part of the URL is the channel. The, it starts with a C. So this text is the channel ID. Um, just so you know, this is the team ID that starts with a T. Um, so this is only accessible through um, the web client um, because of the URL parameters um, or the URLs it constructs. Okay, so we could come back in. That's how I pasted in this one. That's going to our um, projects channel and we'll hit done. Then I want to send a message to the team as well, right? So here's that var message that was in the screen flow. Um, no buttons. So again, how that looks on the Slack side is here's the screen message that I popped in and then here is the file itself. Okay, so that's how I did the example that we just showed. Um, let me just check the stream, if there's any questions. Um, feel free to post them. I'm happy to, to answer any questions. I treat this like an office hours after I get through the um, sort of example. So what are we going to do in the future? Um, you can imagine some cool things like um, including some buttons here to maybe um, approve this document. Um, I showed that a couple weeks ago, sending a, a Salesforce approval using Slack and, and those buttons. Um, you can find that in our YouTube. I've, I've been saving these live streams to our YouTube for the how-to part. Um, so you can go in there, uh, check that out. <clears throat> so we can attach, you know, you can imagine send a quote over um, and then put a button on there that says approve or reject. And then that saves the Salesforce, and then the person maybe regenerates the quote and sends it back over. Um, and then one question I have been asked is, uh, does this allow versioning? So as you know, in Salesforce world, Salesforce files have a content and then the content um, version. I uh, They can go through multiple versions and keep on that same um, content document. So imagine you set you you have version one of a contract, for example, and then you edit it, and then you want to have version two be the most recent, but save to the same um, parent record of the, the original content document. You just have a new version of it. Salesforce does a really nice job of that, um, and you know they've been pushing Salesforce files. That's what that's called um, for a, a few years now, <clears throat> instead of attachments. It's really nice. This is this is uh, in, in the Slack world. It's a single document. You can't version this. Um, you know, there's no, there's no, uh, you know, updating this. You just post in a new. Um, you could delete the message and then post a new one in. Um, but you, you know, we could play some um, interesting things like, you know, having a button that fires a platform event that. Um, does something in Salesforce, which shoots back over to Slack and up and post a new update. So um, yeah, in a way, you know, Slack's a little behind on that file versioning concept, but um, I think this is a pretty good use case. So unless there's any questions um, from the, the, the stream here, um, let me just double check. Nope, doesn't look like it. Um, I'll wrap it up for today and we will see you next week.